Warning, you are about to go on a journey that is not fit for ears under the age of 18. If you are a prude, judgmental, asshole you can exit the conversation now. Once you enter the Pussy Fairy Village, you're ours now. Enjoy. Somebody say hey! Welcome to Dose 4 of the Pussy Fairy Podcast. The podcast. We're hey. over here on YouTube this week, guys. Hey. Yes. Shout out to everyone. I am your girl, C, the spiritual goddess. And we have my baby. It's the butterfly effect. Hey. hey. Effect. <laughs> Butterfly effect. Hey, hey. <laughs> go here. We gonna warn y'all in, in the beginning. We got some food coming. It's been a whole thing with the DoorDash and all that. So we are going to be eating our food. Okay. Okay. So look, y'all. Look, we we chilling. We family today. So on. <laughs> so on the agenda, y'all know. We got that question of the day. We got that playlist. Me, myself, and I. Are you ready for that playlist? Listen. Listen, Linda. Look, okay. And then we also going to finish it out with sextrology. We know y'all been waiting for it. Y'all been giving us the feedback. So the we got y'all. Sextrology. Yes. So let's go ahead and kick things off with. Let's talk about this question of the day. You ready to get into it? Question of the day. This is the question of the week. The question of the year. The, the question century. of the week. I'm sorry. Question of the week. Look, the century. All that shit. But Woo. listen, y'all see I got my food and stuff set up. Okay. Sorry, but not sorry. I'm about to be eating and munching. Okay. Okay. So, this question, and, and this kind of goes with the vibe with me eating and not giving a fuck right now. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get into the conversation. Because I'm sure going to get my food. The question is, have you ever lost yourself in a relationship? And so I know that's a big, a big way, like a little open-ended, even a little bit. That question can go in so many different ways, but we just going to start it off with that. You know what I'm saying? See, so you want to jump in and start us off on a conversation or just explain a little bit what we mean by that. Yeah. So when we say losing yourself in a relationship, it's losing your identity, like who you are. When you become so consumed with the person that you be so involved in their issues, their things, and not really yourself or what you like. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, yes, child. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Um, There's two things to it, right? So on one standpoint, I'll say um, I've been caught up in a, why well, don't you want to say it's a relationship in the chase of someone before I was dating someone. I think this was like my early, I was like 18, 19 and I wanted to be with this person and they were playing games. It was like very like cat and mouse Ooh, thing. Yes, girl, girl. Listen, Linda. One of them. Oh, I want you, but I don't want you. Um, if you guys ever heard that Lauren Hill uh, and Wyclef song, um, I forget the song, but y'all know what I'm talking about. But um, she said it could all be so simple. Oh, but, but you rather make it hard. It was one of those type of situations. Okay. Yes. Yep. And I really like kind of lost myself, and I lost who I was because. I like forgot that I was that bitch just plainly put, you know, I had so many guys chasing after me and I had so many interests and so many things, especially getting, getting into college, but I chose that person and it was really a testament to me having to, or, or me not finding myself or not knowing myself. So putting Girl. your identity, you get what I'm saying? Um, to another caveat of that, I will say as a woman, and I want to give a message to all my ladies out here, um, who, who's probably about to get married or, 
uh, about to have children. I personally have, I don't want to say kind of lost myself, but I feel like naturally with women, we give up so much when we get married as far as like our last name, some physically, you know, or when we have babies, our bodies and different things like that, that sometimes we can get caught up with being a wife, a mother, we forget ourselves. So it's very important that if, if you want to get into a marriage, make sure you have things for yourself. Like for me, I like to play into different things. I like to do um, like editing is my thing. Makeup. I like to go and get my nails done. I'm not done now, child. Um, <laughs> but um, also knowing that it's okay sometimes to get lost a little bit. Not I don't say lost, but like when you're first getting things and things that's happening, it's okay to be like, hold on, wait, I'm here. Let me get back. And it's okay to say, I need boundaries and I need space, you know? But sis, like those boundaries though, like everything that you're saying, I was just over here like, yes, yes, yes. But I was just like, it's important that those boundaries are created in the dating phase. Yes. Before it even gets to marriage. You know what I'm saying? Because yes. that's what it, be it becomes easy to fall to it in marriage because you've become accustomed to it. Yes. And you allow certain things to be little bit by little bit versus having those boundaries there in the beginning. So then like it gives me the sense of if you stay ready, you never have to get ready. Yes. You know what I'm saying like those are the vibes that I get. And it's important to when you're single, especially single, find out more about you and what you like, because you're going to naturally evolve when you're married. That's going to happen when you have children, you get older in general, but you need to find something that you know that you love. You need to find, a, you need to find yourself and you need to, I would say, at least have your own area that you can be just alone. You have to be okay with being alone. And yes, that's the girl. another thing. Yes. A lot of people aren't okay with being alone. They want people to fill these spaces. And that's the thing. And that's how you can cause yourself to be consumed in a relationship because you don't know who you are. It's important to have your own identity. You preaching. You preaching. I'm just saying. Who well, are I you at the end of the day? That's Even just saying. like thinking about like my experience with this and losing myself in a relationship, you know, mm -hmm. like when I love, I love heart. Mm -hmm. But guess what, y'all? That's a flag of saying that you just may be a codependent. People who say that, typically you're, you're codependent, okay? Yep. You lack boundaries. Yep. You, you lack boundaries. You're always available. You know what I'm yep. saying? And so that's something that I had to acknowledge. And like, since we were just talking about that, like, right, be on this conversation, like, the sister boundaries on 10. Like, I don't know, I almost let, I almost let somebody get me off my motherfucking rocker for you a second. You can't do you know it. You can't do you gotta it. Come back. You know what I'm saying? You, you can't do that shit. Like, when you learn, when you stay ready, you don't have to worry about getting ready. And like, right. when it comes to a lot of these relationships, like, when I think about the relationship I lost myself in, this man basically had two babies on me and I was still letting him back into my space. Wow. Like you legit are out here making a fucking fool of me. Mm -hmm. I'm letting you make a fool of me. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm part to blame of this too, mm -hmm. but I'm so codependent and so loyal. And so, Oh, but fuck that. Y'all like we, we can't allow ourselves to, be that deep into a person to where because every time we do that we lose a little bit of self-respect yes and you know one thing i want to add to that and i i have to say this my clients know i've been saying this all week if you had a reading stop bi stop binding yourself because i used to be this person to people that don't mean you well i be hearing so many people like oh um, I'm lost and I don't know what to do because this person, they have this and they have that. A lot of times we talk, we talked about soul ties. You adopt this person's everything. Yep. And yep. you literally take on stuff that you shouldn't take on. 
And like she was saying, it's not that you, it's not that you love hard, you codependent. This person is not like I be I I be having to tell people like they people get so caught up in this, like, oh, this is my divine person. How do I help them? How do I build them? I, the thing is, when it's meant to happen, you're just gonna let each other be yep. yourselves. It's not anything that you have to do. Do you get what I'm saying? Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah i'm telling you from experience okay i've done that i got caught and up i got caught up and to the point where i didn't even know who i was or what i like you you get what i'm saying and it's we all have done that but you have to get yourself out of it and stay grounded who am i remember who you are at the end of the day girl so you might me thinking about okay so one thing about me, those who've known me for a long time, y'all, ugh, I got butter and shit all on the side of my mouth. Girl, you look good. What you telling people what you got, girl? Girl, we got a seafood boy. We got crawfish. We got crab legs, some corn, some potatoes, some eggs, some shrimp. Girl, I, now you got me can't wait for and my fish broccoli. sandwich. I'm about to be like, where's my fish sandwich at? Where my fish? Girl, <laughs> so like, damn, what was I saying? So, Mm, I was saying something. You saying one thing about me. Oh, wait. Oh, those who know me, y'all know I'm a big do not disturb person. Like, I went a whole year with my phone on do not disturb once upon a time. Girl, I live on do not disturb. And I had a relationship, situation, situationship. He had a problem with my phone being on do not disturb. He had a problem with him not being able to ring through on my phone. He had a problem with not being able to like reach me and like it was a it's a control thing, y'all. So like I found myself little bit by little bit like oh well I'll put it in, if you call multiple times it'll come through or if you do this it'll do. I started making all these fucking exceptions for a fucking situationship because first off we single till we married if we ain't really honest you know what I'm saying but ding, ding, ding. but this is the type of thing of where. They don't want you to have your independence or do certain things, but they want it for themselves. You know what I'm saying? And Real that's play. the type of things where you find yourself losing yourself because you start doing a little bit by little bit of things that's not you. It's not naturally you. Mm-hmm. They start mm-hmm. getting you to do different shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's mm-hmm. like, you be like, Real a little flag. Food, baby. And if you don't know yourself and you don't have balance and boundaries, it's easy to get caught up in it and not see it until it's too late. Mhm, and that's a red flag. That if someone right always got to keep tabs on you, like or getting the feeling the type of way when you don't respond back to their stuff in a certain amount of time, but when it comes to them, they take it forever. Yes, to respond back to you. Yes, 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 yes. Come on now. Come so on now. We want to hear from y'all, okay? We want to know, have you ever been so wrapped up and got lost in a relationship? Let us know in the comments, y'all. Yes. Let us know and, and reply to the podcast. Let us know. We want to hear from you all, okay? Because I yes. be loving y'all stories in the comments, okay? <laughs> Girl, listen, when we be in that live going in, like, I the T be in the live girl. The T they be community. They be spitting some truth though in the comments though, girl. I love the group healing that be going on. In yes, life. I'm so, like, look, they be dropping some gems. I love when y'all drop some gems. So make sure y'all keep the conversation going. All right, so you ready to get into this playlist this week, girl? Listen and uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right all right so the playlist is me myself and i and no beyonce isn't on this playlist guys i know y'all see predictable y'all thought it was going listen to listen it would have been too predictable yeah so we ain't gonna we ain't gonna put that so these songs are really they go along to what we were talking about like finding yourself or getting lost in a relationship and different things like that so you know what I'm going to go ahead and start off with my first song. Um, 
It's about my girl. I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. Alina Baraz. I love yes. her. I love Alina Baraz. Everything she does, I love. But um, I picked to me because um, we talked about getting lost in relationship, but I've been just lost in the sauce, right? <laughs> and I love how she says in the song, like, you know, if you ever been lost in like, you know, a moment or a situation and you have to take a break and she says, it's been a while since you heard from me. Mm. She like, I had to protect my energy. I lost my sanity. Sometimes you have to lose your sanity for a minute and you have to lose it and come back to yourself. Yeah. Sometimes like you was talking about, do not disturb, you know, sometimes people don't understand, but you just have to find yourself and you get what I'm saying. So that's why I picked that song. Cause she really talks about too in the song and this could go along with the relationships. She said, Jim, she said, I'm not asking for too much. I'm asking the wrong motherfuckers. And that's really uh, a lot of times what it is. You know what I'm saying? You ask for people who can't afford the energy that you deserve. Up. That's, that's what the problem. You ask the people who spiritually bankrupt. That's what it is. That's the gym itself. So stop asking these people. If they want to give it to you, if they want to give you the love, they look, we don't say that for sexuality. Go ahead, get it to your son. Listen, no, 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 I've showed been on the black and spree, okay? So my first song is you mentioned a sense of peace of mind. Mm-hmm. It's I gotta, I'm sorry, I gotta find peace of mind by Lauren Hill. In that song, she talks about the sense of losing herself, the sense of refining herself through a relationship, through a controlling relationship. Because it's usually a lot of times emotional manipulation that goes on in these things too, mm-hmm. when we lose ourselves in relationships. And so you finding your peace of mind, like you separating from those connections that you've been finding yourself so deeply tied to. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So that's mm-hmm. why I needed to have Ms. Lauren on there. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> so, oh, and we do have a second, I mean, a third song coming out that you actually picked. Mm. Yes. Self love with Ari Lennox, Dreamville. Yes. And that song that says self love is the best love. Yes. Your love was the worst drug. Yes. You lose yourself to a person is typically you're addicted. Yes. It's an addiction a little bit. And so oftentimes that addiction is pretty. It can feel like a drug. You know what I'm saying? Addiction mm-hmm. to love, the addiction to the high that you get. Um, from that relationship, you know what I'm saying, and so mm-hmm. that song definitely deserved to be on there. Yes, it did. <laughs> Shout out to Ari. I yes, my Ari. Ari Queen. Yes, I love her. Okay, so I pick this next song, um, Brent Fires, another Brent Fires song. Around me, I had to put pick something for everyone, but especially for my fellas, right? So. Um, he really be contemplating. If you listen to that song, he say some stuff like if when the money ain't around, the bitches ain't around, who the fuck going to be around me? And that's real. You are your best friend. You yep. get what I'm saying? At the end yep. of the day, when nothing is around, you have to answer to yourself. And I really feel like in this song, he kind of t- like embodies that. Like he talks about that. And even though you can look at it kind of like, dang, it's kind of sad, but you can also look at, at it like at the end of the day, it's real. You get what I'm saying? It's That's real. real. <laughs> at the end of the day, who are you? You get what I'm saying? So I added that. Shout out to Brent Fias. Period. And then this next song, like, tell us about this song. I love Cleo Soul. So first off, this next song is by Cleo Soul. She's like, I've been getting into, like, low-key artists lately. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, artists that aren't really in mainstream. Just because it's like, their vibes lately just been a whole vibe. So Cleo yeah. Soul is one of those artists. And she has a song called Young Love. And so in this song, she says, Young Love, don't let them waste your light. I mm. see that you're searching for peace of mind. Like, The sense of don't let your heart breaks or the things or the bad situations that you've been in taint you to the point where you're afraid in the future. 
Yep. Yeah. And it's like your heart is still young. You still like you got to believe like and that's how the song goes out. It's like you got to believe. Yes. It's like she has a nice like jazz R&B soul vibe. Like, I can't wait to listen to her. So yeah, I'm gonna need y'all to really check that out. And so that's a really like that song. Yes. You know, she always be putting us on. She put me on the Tony Joe. So I know I'm probably <laughs> gonna get lost in this artist. <laughs> Yes, you gonna. I think you are gonna like Cleo Soul if you like those type of vibes when it comes to music. Like, yeah, real music. I think you are gonna vibe with it. Okay, so I picked the last song, which is Fantasia doing me. Okay, because one thing she did say is like she first off Fantasia was doing her thing on the song. If you know what what was going on. She got lost in a relationship or a uh, fair child, but no Girl. judgment. We've all been there. <laughs> but, um, she says sometimes as women, we give more than we should to a man and not just women, but, but when we, when it comes to women, yes, sometimes we give too much of ourselves to the point where, when that person leaves us, we feel like we're depleted. You get what I'm saying? Raise your hand if you've been there. You have to always remember to do yourself, do you. You you get what I'm saying? Yes. So I just had to add that. Shout out to Fantasia. I remember when that song came out. I was probably actually going through it with the story time I told y'all earlier. That song was like, my, yes, hallelujah. Girl. <laughs> Listen, music is therapy, <laughs> and that's why I love therapy. music and I fuck with music. Like, it's definitely therapy, like for real, for real. Yes. yes. But so we about to get into this last part for the night. So I guess that means I gotta stop stuffing my face, and girl. She got her food and I ain't even get my food. What we is about to have to, You got to get on hubby. Like, look, sir. Yeah. He look, gonna get sir. What, what's going on? What's going on? Sure. What is going on? But y'all, so I'm about to get cleaned up. And just so y'all know, we are going backwards today with the Yes, story. Pisces. Why are y'all all? I know y'all like, we got a way far reading. <sighs> It is Pisces season still, isn't it? Is yeah, it still- yes. It's so Pisces, Pisces, we got y'all. We got y'all. We got y'all. We got y'all. So this is going to be for the week. Let's see. This is going to be for the week of the seventeenth through the twenty third. Twenty third. We got a full moon in there. Yes, Virgo. We got a full moon in there. So this week is embraced by a full moon in a the go. Girl, I'm so excited. Let me see what decks I'm gonna use. I'm gonna be using um I'm gonna be using my whispers of love oracle deck mainly, but I will Ooh. still use my uh, other romantic dip tarot deck and I'm gonna use some tarot. So I'm gonna be using my ancestral tarot also. Okay. Here too. And then my cards, of course. So we just going to fill it and see what cards we're going to use. Well, you know, I told you earlier that I wanted to really pull, pull. So I, a lot of you all who've been following me <clears throat> since like last, early last year, like spring last year, y'all know I created some cards. And I don't go to them all the time, but there are 18 plus cards. So if you go to some of my old readings, I used to do so many. So I'm pulling hey. up cards as well as just the love cards. So it's love cards and 18 plus cards. And so I think I may be doing some of you all's sexuality a little bit differently. Um, it won't be everyone. It's going to be as, you know, called and led and felt. But um, yeah, yeah so... We got no dice week. this week. No dice. No dice. Hey, do I got my dice? Let me tell. Mm-hmm. Y'all heard dice be on point. <laughs> <laughs> so I got that. Then I have my channel songs. 
So these are channel love songs. So for each side, I am gonna pull a channel love song. This is so dope. We gonna get some tea. We are gonna get some tea, y'all. Um, what else I wanna pull for y'all? Let me see. It's another deck I wanna get. Hold on. Now I always gotta get my um erotic. So yeah, we are gonna vibe out with what we got right here. That's on my next. That's next on my list to buy. Period. Yes. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and start off with Pisces. I'm going to go ahead and start Pisces off. Let's see what messages Spirit has for you for your sexuality. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. So the first card we have is you are limitless. You can do anything you choose. Mm. Let's see. So some of you have been really feeling yourself. I'm feeling like you've been feeling like you, yeah, demonstrate love, find out what's important to those you love and act on it. Some of you have been really feeling yourself. Um, I'm getting like the energy of my Pisces. They're discovering who they really are. I don't know why I'm getting like divine feminine vibes. Like I'm getting like, I'm, I'm powerful. I'm like sensual. I'm just getting like the vibes of like, I know who I am and I can create and a lot of you i'm getting that energy of you saying like i'm not that into you like look i don't have time if you're not doing what you need to do i don't know if somebody there like if you're not pleasing me the way you need to be pleasing me mm -hmm. i can move on period and i'm getting that that type of energy um i'm also getting like you've been like a real you've been feeling like real motivated like you probably been like kicking ass when it comes to motherhood if you're a mother um in in the household and you just want a partner to match up to that and that's going to get you give you what you need and it's like i'm getting the energy of someone saying look when i come home after doing everything i need you to know how to eat my pussy okay <laughs> i need you to know how to like touch of our body like i need right. you to know i don't have time for me to be teaching you how to do these things i need you to already like know mm -hmm. that's the energy i'm getting i don't know <laughs> yep i feel you with it i feel you with it like <laughs> i definitely feel you with it um mm. so pisces <clears throat> i'm definitely getting a very honest type of energy of where you're at right now so if you do have multiple partners like you're honest you're letting people know like okay you know you're not the only person or you're the only not the only person i'm talking to or whatever the case is you know what i'm saying but like i'm getting a sense of because it has before there beware for i am fearless and therefore powerful and mm. so Pisces, I feel like a lot of you all are operating in this fearless energy, especially when it comes to you and like your love life and your sex life. Like, I know you were talking about divine feminine, but I'm picking up on our divine masculines who have Pisces mm. in their chart. Like, mm. that's because this is a quote from Frankenstein, you know, so it gives me someone who has a day side and a night side, you know, so our mm. Pisces who, who check into their 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 bdsm side you know what i'm saying their side yeah. that call me daddy yeah side that you know ask me if you can come first like yeah that powerful energy yes i'm getting pisces are walking into their their power in that space of knowing that they can make people have an orgasm just by talking to them right mm -hmm. it's like very mental like i know i got the power over like you. i just got wet thinking about that shit. Yeah, like, like that type of, like, it's like, 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 legit, like, I'm over here, like, like push, it's shit. like that energy. Like, they coming in, like, I know who I am. I can see, I don't know why I see, like, some of you, some of my Pisces, you might be the type of person that be like, that's why I got that, when I come in the house, have it this way. When I could, like, you tell your partner, like, look, I don't want, I don't want to hear about none of that. Or, you like, got your expectations. Yeah. Period. Yep. Look at this shit. We got the five of swords and then this, um, what is this? The moon card. So <laughs> the five of swords and the moon card, like <laughs> you have a Pisces. A lot of y'all have a sexual desire that mm -hmm. you don't really be sharing. 
-hmm. Your last relationship probably made you feel guilty for your sexual desires or the things Mm -hmm. that you wanted. And so either you have found someone who wants those same things or like you're searching for someone who wants those same things or you're learning how to communicate those same things. Like I'm getting with this don't want to hurt you and this Frankenstein energy of just like one of y'all asking to tie somebody up and you're just like, look, I'm not going to hurt you. Yeah. I don't want to hurt you. I'm not like the 40 shades of gray. Like what does he do? Like he does all this stuff. And when you do this BDSM stuff, it's not to just inflict pain. It's supposed to be a a pleasure. So you want someone who can then communicate with you. Man, Pisces. They also look, what y'all know? See, I'm about to roll some dice and just to right. see what the hell Pisces got going on. And then we moving on to Aquarius. Hey, right, Pisces. What y'all so we got Leo, me. Aries, Sagittarius, mm-hmm. um, Taurus, Capricorn, and then the moon with Cancer. Hey. Let's so. See. Ooh, child, let's go on to our Aquarius, honey. So we're going to start us off with our Aquarius. What's going on with our Aquarius? We got Destiny and the Sixth House of Craft that's coming up. Um, So Aquarius, I feel like a lot of you all are like in the energy of wanting to just perfect your craft right now. Um, But when I say perfect your craft, I feel like the sense of like, if you have a partner, like you wanting to perfect the craft of, getting your partner to a certain place this week. Like, I told you, this astrology is going there today. Like, I, I just feel it in this Aquarius energy. It's just like mastering your craft. Like, you want to feel like you're the best. You know what I'm saying? You want to feel like you're the best. Just like the first time. A person always remembers their first time, Aquarius. And you want to make sure that people remember you. So you want to make sure the first time you get it in with somebody, you going to be real because I got sorry I lied out here. So hopefully somebody ain't lying about what they able to do or what they got going on um, with the sorry I lied energy. Okay. Sorry. You don't get catfished Aquarius. Um, uh, What else we got? Let me pull the tarot. Ooh, child. We got the six of swords, then the king of swords. Yeah. You may end up having to walk away from some shit this week, Aquarius. I ain't going to lie. Yeah. And you perfecting your craft, it's like you, mm, Aquarius, if your sex game can get better, up your sex game. Okay. So if you got cheated on or you find out that you got cheated on um, and you feel like sex may be part of it, of why some of that cheating happened, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, don't be afraid to learn. There's nothing wrong with learning more, especially if your partner was sharing that. They wanted more, you know what I'm saying? A little bit more in the bedroom or whatever the case is. Yeah, the song that just came out for y'all is Wild Thoughts by Rihanna. Mm. I'm going to leave it at that. What you getting over there, C? You know what? The car, when you were saying that about walking away, I got pay attention to red flags and deception. Um... I'm getting the sense when when we was talking about like situationship and really getting consumed with someone, I feel like that when I feel like when the person tells them about like the sex or if it's one of those situations where um, this person tells you they want to break up or they don't or they're not happy, you're going to feel like Aquarius, it's oh my gosh, it's a shocking, it's out the blue. But what spirit is telling you is, honestly, you really need to pay attention because I feel like this is a sense of someone not really being in tune. I don't know why I'm getting that. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm getting that. Also, you're not having those real conversations. You're so caught up and infatuated with this person or it could be the other way around, but I feel like this is really you. I feel like you're so infatuated with this person and the aesthetic of them that you're not really seeing them for who they are or really seeing the what they're saying. So yes. uh, yep. I, don't know. I feel like some of them gonna be stunned by this person saying they're not happy. But spirit is saying 
how could you be stunned if you pay attention to the flags? You get what I'm saying? This person could have been on some, you the best I ever had, and this is this is and that, you know what I'm saying? But like in your spirit, you'll be like, they're not really happy. Like you mm-hmm. can tell. So like it's giving me the sense of you can tell when somebody fake an orgasm. You mm-hmm. know what I'm mean? saying? And so listen to the red flags of things that's there and like be honest with yourself too. If there's something that you could be doing to get better, because like I said, I'm seeing the perfect your craft. So Aquarius, are you selfish in the bedroom or is someone else selfish in the bedroom? Um, so we're going to roll some dye and then we're going to move on. (laughs) Yeah. I feel like they're going to be stunned about it, though, but it's going to be like, mm-hmm. did you really? Uh, okay. We got Capricorn, Leo, Leo. Um, This is Uranus, so Aquarius, Taurus, Leo again. <laughs> um, Taurus, Gemini, and Leo again. Like, Leo came out every row multiple times. So some of y'all are dealing with some motherfucking Leos. Or people with Leo high in their chart. And isn't Leo the opposite of Aquarius? Yeah. Yeah. Shadow side, child. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and get into Capricorn. Let's see what... Okay, first card we got is loyalty. Uh-oh. Okay, let's see what's going on. Loyalty is a real big thing for you. Like, oh, friends with benefits. Okay, I see what's going on here. This, this makes sense. Uh, we got broken trust. This makes sense for the topic we're doing today. Okay, so I'm picking up that some of you, you're in a situation where you want more out of a relationship or it's one of those situations where you have a person who wants more and then one person just want to keep it casual. Mm. Spirit is saying, um, I don't know if if some of my Capricorns, you found out that this person was still sleeping with other people. And I'm getting like, because I got broken trust there. I don't know if this person was lying to you, um, but I don't feel like it because Spirit is saying like, let me see. Give me some clarity. Okay. I feel like they were lying to you as far as how much they were into you. But spirit is saying that at the end of the day, you need to just go ahead and let this go. Like don't spend time really being hurt over this person because I'm getting that this person um, spreads themselves really thin. And I'm feeling like you deserve more in the first place is what spirit is saying. You deserve more. You deserve to have loyalty. If that's something you want, don't feel like you have to, you know, um, be a victim to this sneaky leak link or whatever that shit called (laughs) culture or whatever. (laughs) Like if you want to be in a relationship, it's okay to want to be in a relationship. But you have to understand if someone doesn't want to give you that, you have to accept that and you have to just go on on about your business because I got new love. And I was about to say, it's another person. I was just about to say, it's two different people. Yeah. It's like the moment you really put your energy into the person who really wants to give you that energy, it makes... Like, you're not going to even be thinking about this person. It's going to be like, oh, my gosh, why was I even, like, talking to them? If that makes sense. What you got, girl? And so, because I'm getting that, I don't, so the energy that I was getting, like, the Capricorns that I'm picking up on are the Capricorns. And the last situation is that the Capricorn isn't giving themselves to someone who's trying to give themselves to them. It's like they're closing off to them because, there's someone else who has their brain. Like there's someone else who continuously mm. racks their mind because I see this eight of swords here. And then the two quotes that I pulled was every blessing ignored becomes a curse. So Capricorn is thinking about a missed opportunity 
that they missed and it's starting to feel like kind of like a curse to them right now because we have one cannot step twice in the same river it's someone who told you that you won't have another opportunity and you feel like you kind of lost it with them and you have never felt this way because ain't nobody ever had your ass like this before ain't nobody like you got can we talk you ain't talked to this person in a minute like Capricorn, you realize that through some shit, like, and I, I, honestly, what I get from it is that if it's meant to happen, it will happen. But you got to really prove that you learned your lesson. Like, if you do get a second chance, like, in this second chance, you, because you're dealing with someone who don't give second chances. Yeah. And so, if you get a second chance, just know that they only giving you a second chance because that's them extending grace. That's them extending mercy. Mm-hmm is that second chance. So don't take it, you know what I'm saying, off. But I feel like that's why Capricorn hasn't been able to give themselves to anyone else is because it's another person that they really want to give themselves to. And if you can't get a second chance, just take it as a lesson. Yeah. Yeah. Know what to do in your new relationship. Yep. Don't play hard to get Capricorn. You'll miss out on some shit. Control your anger too, shit. Right. (laughs) Control your anger. A lot of that shit be y'all anger. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all worse than Aries with the anger, honey. Man, uh, uh, Capricorn's anger is something else, okay? The devil. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> the devil. Like we, shit. The devil. Look, I got card number 13 at the top right here. Ain't that the devil card? <laughs> the devil. Shit. That's the card that we read. Never felt this. The devil. <laughs> <laughs> that's what Capricorn is ruled by honey listen that sunset looks so beautiful outside all right so who we got next Sagittarius. oh gosh okay so be- yeah before what Capricorn is what Sagittarius oh shit I gotta start this one don't I okay <laughs> listen Linda like the going back to back between both signs be a lot sometimes yeah right. now hopefully Sagittarius energy is lighter this time let's connect because you girl well, the card that came flying out starting us out was complexity in reverse. So I'm getting that this, this is going to be a week that feels a little bit more smooth for you, Sagittarius. Okay. Um, some, you're going to get an apology this week from someone. Um, I feel like Sagittarius, some of y'all had a sneaky link or something that you were supposed to link up with and they like ditched you or couldn't hang or something and they weren't honest with you as to why they couldn't hang. I'm getting the sense that they're going to be telling you the truth as to what happened. Okay. That's for some of y'all. The next one we got, um, change is inevitable Sagittarius. Then you also got, let's make a baby. Oh shit. So this person who lied or trying to come back around, they, they want to fuck this week. I'm getting some sexual healing for some Sagittarius this week. Um, yeah, we got drive me wild Sagittarius. I feel like some of y'all going to find a sexual match. Um, it's going to be someone that you used to fuck with in the past and y'all kind of had, like, y'all haven't seen each other in a minute. And it's like, it hear me, um, going 80 and a 60 fuck a ticket. Cause I had it for the in a minute, in a minute. Hey, it's giving me that vibe. Yes. The lion, baby, the strength card. Somebody about oh, to have a hard on. Okay. Girl. Somebody about to have a major hard on for someone or some energy in the past. And they ready to fuck somebody world up with this world card. Girl. Somebody ready to fuck the shit out of somebody, y'all. We got the eight of pentacles. And this is going to be juicy as fuck for you, Sagittarius. Listen, Linda, let me get up off of this, okay? This turned into a Zane book. And I ain't trying <laughs> to do it today. Now, I do want to add to what you said because I definitely got the new love card. So this is going to be like a new love affair all over again. Because I see them getting back together. Um, but this is what I do want to tell you. I don't know why you broke up, but I feel like there's some type of miscommunication and I keep getting third party in the sense of, I wouldn't be surprised if like you have a friend or something that's speaking and like saying, like saying something to like your ex, or you might find out like, oh, we broke up because someone was being shady. I don't know why I'm getting that spirit is saying, um, when you when you find out the truth about whatever it, whatever it is, spirit is saying, don't focus on that. You two are back together now. Like, be happy about it. I definitely see um, this being a whirlwind romance. I'm not gonna lie though. 
I did get a car. Some of y'all gonna get pregnant, okay? Some and I said, gonna... let's make a baby. We yeah, had some of y'all gonna get pregnant. Part. I'm seeing. You remember? So, let's make a baby. I see somebody. I see some of y'all getting pregnant, and I feel like. <laughs> I feel like, or if you're a guy, your ex might be ovulating like at this time. So I'm just letting you know, if you don't want a child, you might want to wrap it up or you might, uh, I just, you might just want to be extra, like extra careful. Cause I see some of y'all getting pregnant and this being like a love affair, a whirlwind. So I'm just saying, wrap it up. Okay. Mm-hmm. I ain't sending y'all nothing to the baby shots at all. Let me stop. Listen, sad because I know a lot of Sagittarius don't want more babies if they already got. Yeah, baby. I'll get like, like they're like I'm good with what I got, but it's just like don't get caught up in some shit that that gets you there because you want to feel the sauce so bad that y'all feel the sauce and fuck around and mix up another child. I just see it. I really do. Shit. Oh. But. Okay, so let's get into Scorpio. Shout out to Scorpios. Okay, Here let's is. see, Scorpio. What message has for you? They claim they the sex craze of the zodiac, but I still ain't seen it. Yeah, girl. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> some of y'all looking for a sugar daddy. I got sugar daddy. Some of y'all might have an older gentleman or um, you might have someone with a more mature spirit want to spend some money on you. Um, I'm getting that you're kind of down. You're down is what um, I'm getting. Um, With that being said, though, spirit is saying, because I feel like you're not really into this person. But you they got the coin is what I'm getting. Like, I feel like they got the coin. But spirit is saying, okay, yeah, you can do it, but they're really not worthy of your time because I feel like this person, they're going to want to tie some type of strings attached. So yeah, they'll be the type of person like, okay, I want to get you a phone, but I'm going to cut it off if I feel like you're not answering me in enough time. Yep. Do you really want to balance yourself? I mean, I feel like... Yeah, uh, some of y'all gonna do it anyway. I feel like, but they want the experience of what it feel like. I keep getting like y'all, y'all go. But spirit is saying like, is it worth it though? Because I feel like this person is really controlling because they're from a different generation or they're very much mature. They believe their person is supposed to behave a certain way. And yeah, you might think it's just something like, oh, casual, my sugar daddy. But I feel like you might get into a situation where you might, oh, you have a stalker. I want your time. I want all of your time. So I just feel like you really want to just rethink it, Scorpio. Is it really worth it? But I feel like some of y'all going to do it anyway. (laughs) And it's crazy because I'm getting a similar thing like. Um, of y'all either meeting in an unconventional place. Okay, we got studio that came out. I don't know what that means. But with this unconventional places, and then we got do not fear the inevitable. You, best I ever have, but this is because this person is going to be very infatuated with you, Scorpio. Like, for real. Um, I have time moves slowly, but passes quickly. It gives me the sense of you be bored as fuck with this person. Like, when you were just saying, like, you're not really interested in this person or you ain't really going to like them, like... You're not really going to vibe with them. And when you were saying like them trying to lock you down, it's like you pulled the Sagittarius energy of being a voyager, of being more free, more just open, not tied down. Sagittarius Mm -hmm. is is likely to want to fucking be tied down. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so with this um, energy, it's like, because then you got the seventh house of relating. So that relationship is going to get in the way of your freedom. And the reason why I saw that sugar daddy, sugar mama energy was because you had the queen of batons, which is the queen of wands, which is known as being a very beautiful um, woman who can get things for how she look. You know what I'm you saying? Like, she, PlayStation. listen, so you got the queen of wands, but then you pulled the king of cups, who's very controlling emotionally, who's very like domineering and like they get their way through 
through emotions. They make you feel a type of way. And it goes with this reading today, like to the point where Scorpio, you will lose yourself in this person. Yes. Even your ass will be at home, not want to go out, changing up what you're doing because mm -hmm. this person want to hang out. And you out here thinking that it's a divine connection because they paying for things. They flying you this place. They buying this trip. They're doing that so that they always know where the fuck you at. Keep tabs on you. Remember we talked about that red flag earlier today? You were talking about, I'm not getting good vibes. I'm not getting good vibes. Look, I gold digger. They look at you as just, look, and I'm getting like, you guys are looking at a gold digger vibes. Like, I just want to get this. I don't care. But it's like, at the end of the day, it's, you're going to lose your freedom. I feel like, look, reckless love, reckless. I'm okay. Let me just, let's move on. Let's move on on the Libra. The Scorpio gonna do it anyway. I feel like something gonna do it anyway. I'm like, whoever that's for is who it's for. That was probably a personal reading. Like, ain't no telling, you know, who it was for, it was for. Uh -huh. You know, watch out for what the watch out is, okay? But we gonna move on to Libra. Yeah. So to start us off with our Libra, we're starting off with the judgment card. Okay, look at them boobies. Libra. A lot of y'all, find, you're finding yourself looking in the mirror a little bit more, touching yourself in the mirror. I'm getting a sense of like you acknowledging parts of your body that you never really acknowledged before, um, exploring yourself more, like noticing the little mold that you have on your chest right here under your breast, or noticing that that stretch mark that you got right here in the crease of your thigh and um, your, your fupa, like you get into the energy of just like acknowledging and loving every part of yourself. Yes, because you got the queen of batons in reverse. And so that's giving me the sense of you're coming from a period of hating how you look, of hating like what your body looks like, what doesn't look right, what's, you know, too flabby, what's too heavy, like a lot of self-criticism, Libra. And so I'm getting a lot of your self-love this week is going to be coming from touching yourself. Um, that's a big part of the message of what I'm getting for you. So if it's not on the menu, yeah, masturbation needs to be on your menu. You got that wet, wet Libra, okay? Some of y'all may be real um, horny this week. And so Spirit is saying every time you're horny, masturbate and use that as a time to perform sex magic through your orgasms, okay? Um and then we have, let's see. Girl, I'm literally, I, I'm literally about to say sex magic. <laughs> For real? <laughs> like, I'm just getting that heavy for our, our Libras. Like, y'all are supposed to be manifesting sex magic through, like, masturbation this week. I'm getting heavy with our Libra energies. Because my, my sex cards aren't trying to come out for real. And so that's what I have for my Libras, poo-poo. Look, I feel like um, some of you are trying to manifest an actual partner and you can use sex magic to actually manifest an actual partner because I got act as if your partner is already here. Mm -hmm. So how do you want them to touch you? Go back to our episode on Patreon if you missed it. When we talked about like, you know, learning how to touch yourself so you can tell your partner um, the thing that came up to me, I keep getting full moon in Virgo, like shedding, like you using sex magic to shed whatever it is that's blocking you. I don't know why I'm getting this. Um, but in you doing this, I feel like you're going to manifest a new love is what spirit is saying. I'm getting that a lot of you are going to be manifesting that divine partnership. Um, I'm getting like soulmate energy that's what i'm getting spirit is saying okay. though um if you i feel like for a small group of you if you really tap into this energy um you're going to get everything that you deserve not just love i feel like some of you are trying to manifest money i know this is not money reading but i feel like if you use sex magic on the full moon i feel like you are on to something yeah so, but and you know what is so interesting? Because typically with the full moon is not the energy where you want to. Yeah. Manage, but like with this one, it's more of like a releasing with the yeah. full moon. Of like, so what you're actual manifesting is just the releasing of the things that no longer serves you. So like mm -hmm. 
And that then helps bring in other parts of you. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Because it's all about that big release and Virgo is about health. So what's getting in the way of your mental health? What's getting in the way of your personal love, your confidence for yourself? Like that's the aspect of how you're, I just wanted to make sure I clarified that aspect for them with the aspect of their manifesting with this full moon. Yes. I see them. Like I see them releasing. Like I see it being a big release. Have fun child. <laughs> Period. You might be crying and everything. Like, dang, I ain't never cried it from masturbating. Like, shit, Libra, tell me what that's like. That's <laughs> it. All right, so we going on to who we on Virgo. Uh huh. Speaking of Virgos, but we have a full moon coming up. Shout out to Virgos. Okay. Yes, yes. It's your time. It's your yes. time. Yes. Fine. All right. Let's see. What do we have? Okay. So the first card I got is broken trust. Hmm not worthy oh wow stalker okay love okay so they're lying to you so some of you you ice someone out like you put the deuces up to them you basically said look i'm done with you you broke my trust you're not worthy of my time and i feel like this person they don't want to let you go i feel like this is the type of person i got stalker vibes so like they're really watching everything that you do. They're watching everything that you say, but you're at the point. I don't know why I'm getting this Virgo where you're like, I have to love myself first. I don't have time. And I feel like the more you're getting back to yourself, the more it irks them. I don't know. I'm getting like, they feel like yeah, well, we got breakup. Yep. Yep. Girl. So I feel like um, loyalty yeah, they couldn't, they weren't loyal. Like they broke your, they broke your trust. And I feel like this person isn't going to want to just go without a fight. I'm not going to lie to you, but what spirit is saying, don't question yourself on, um, shucking the deuces up at the ass. I feel like, um, they may be trying to flip things around. I don't know if you found out something about them. They may be trying to flip things around on you, but you know what you know. You know what you know, Virgo. Like, don't fall for the bullshit. Don't fall for, because I see I see this person sending like flowers up at your job. I see them doing like very much offset storm in the stage on Cardi B's Rolling Louds type, type of thing. Because they're very, I don't know, I'm getting cold dependent energy. But spirit is saying, you know what you know about this person and they've been revealed. So there's nothing else um, that they can do. Oh, <laughs> girl, when I tell you our shit is coming out the same, <laughs> like I'm just over here like <laughs> somebody stepped into their magician power because the cards that came out for you all started with the magician the six of swords in reverse, somebody not want to let go, somebody mm-hmm. not want to move forward, somebody not wanting something to end, then the page of fucking swords. So like you said, they're watching every fucking thing that you're doing right now. And it has outer beauty can't hide the pain. You saw the inner pain of a person, something that they try to hide and they felt that they could hide from you or whatever the case is. And you probably acknowledged it and brought that shit out. Mm-hmm. And they're like fucked up right now. Mm-hmm. Because they're just like, hold up. They see me. I see that codependent shit. Mm-hmm. And it's like, but no, you're what I want. Like Crown Royal by Jill Scott just came out, but it gives me the sense of addicted. Someone being drunk on someone's like energy or love or like what they feel they can get from this person. And I'm not liking these vibes, Virgo. Yeah. I'm not, I don't, I don't even like the fact that this had, oh my gosh, we got Saturn of wisdom coming out. Then the Sigma my sex tile of allowing. Don't let this person in your space. I'm going to roll some dice for y'all. Yeah, really- girl. We need the dice. <laughs> Where they at, girl? Because I realized I didn't roll it for all the other ones. I'm like, hold on. I need to roll it for this. For you Virgo. need to roll it for them because this person is a- giving me stalker vibes. We got Sagittarius, Capricorn, Libra. um, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer. Okay. So those are the biggest ones that's coming out. Okay, take it as it is. Sun, moon, rising, north. No, no, we're gonna do Venus on this one. We ain't doing north. No, we're doing Venus. But I just really feel like 
you have enough power to get away from this though. Mm-hmm. But I'm definitely getting that like you need to really make sure you got cameras up or like the things that you put out like out there. Like make sure you don't reveal too much personal stuff. Yeah. Like, what you They're do, watching you. Yeah. They're watching I, your I don't social put media. Too much personal stuff out there. And the sense of the sending things to your job and stuff, I could definitely see that happening. Um, and it's because of they don't like the fact that they got rejected. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Girl. What's up with these stalkers in this reading? These people right. losing themselves in relation. Girl. What is going on? Because I'm over here like, what the fuck is going on with all these stalkers and sugar daddies acting the fuck up? Because y'all, y'all up here putting that witch pussy, that, that <laughs> demon dick on them. They can't get away. See, I see y'all out here uh-huh, in the chat. Y'all. Mm-hmm. Girl, listen. <laughs> so, oh, gosh. All right. So we're going to move on to, um, we went from Virgo Leo. Okay, Leo gang, gang, gang. Turn our Leo out. We got the Queen of Onks coming out in the reverse. Then we got the Page of Swords coming out in the reverse. I'm turning everything in the upright though. I'm going to pull a couple more cards for y'all before the full message comes through. Oh, shit. It's a lot going on. Leo, it's a lot of fucking energy going on up in this bitch. I can go lie, honey. A uh, girl, you heard me. I said, wow. Because <laughs> I'm like, yeah. It's it's a lot going on. Like, okay, so starting you off, we had the Queen of Ox, remember, and the Scribe of Swords. I was called to turn those in the upright. The Queen of Ox is a very, um, she's like a mentor in a way. She's like a motherly type of energy, Okay. She gives emotional fulfillment. Then you got this scribe of swords. It's giving me someone who's a little bit reckless within the, with their mouth. How they talk is giving me a sense of someone not really keeping secrets well. Um, Leo, so it's giving the sense of don't do too much fucking talking this week about mm-hmm. your shit or your sex life or your re- romantic life or your relationship. Um because I'm getting a sense of someone not keeping a secret because I see the 10 of batons that's coming out over here. And then the three of swords. So to have the 10 of batons and the three of swords, it's like someone in your vicinity or your energy may be working hard on the sly to like, they like seeing you not be happy. Like mm-hmm. give me a sense of like someone who they don't like they man. So when you happy with your man, they don't like to hear you talk about it. But mm-hmm. when you ain't happy with your man and shit ain't going good, they love to hear every goddamn thing that's going on, every detail, and ooh, girl, how you tell them off, or mm-hmm. ooh, what you gonna do. Like, it's just giving me one of those vibes. Um, Leo, I'm gonna pour some... What's the name? Girl, this reading is crazy. Cause... We got Capricorn, yeah. Sagittarius, Leo... Um, Libra, what's this? Scorpio and Aries mm-hmm. with that first house of self. So it's just like a very selfish energy. So watch out for that. Um, it's just giving me a sense of like, don't speak on something prematurely. Don't speak on anything that you wouldn't want the world to know. Yeah. Like if you wouldn't want the world to know it, don't let it know. So for example, um, Leo, if you wouldn't want the world to know that you made a sex tape, Mm-hmm. Don't make no motherfucking sex tape mm-hmm. for nobody because technology fail, mm-hmm. things mess up, jump drives get lost. You know what I'm saying? People find that shit, and next thing you know, you the next motherfucker Kim K. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's just mm-hmm. like you never know when it comes to this internet and these internet streets and the things that's said or the things that's heard or over listened oh to. Okay. So those are the vibes that I'm getting heavy. Um, y'all shit ain't got nothing to do with sex or shit. I'm like, I can't even get freaky with y'all. If I want yeah, to- it's I like, like- <laughs> girl, like I'm getting that. Don't put your relationship online too much because I thought like you got a hating 
you had a hating ass person in your either in your circle. I feel like they be it could be in your family. They be really talking mess about what you and your partner has going on or what you're doing in your love life. I feel like some of you, they're talking about your relationship. Some of you, you could just be doing like OnlyFans or something like that. And you have someone that's going around telling people your business. Um, yeah. I feel like you might have someone that wants to come around and I feel like they may be like, oh, hey girl, or they might be, they may be like, oh, what's up, you my homie, or a family member, an auntie, or somebody that wants to call you. But I got, I'm hiding something from you. So I'm getting a sense of getting intel. They're getting intel for someone. Um, I don't know why. It's so weird. I got the energy of someone really wishing, like, through the screen on their phone. Like, when you say it online, like, or hating, like, I hope this don't work. Like, they yeah. Doing, like their own version of spell work. I don't care yes. whether they're into witchcraft or not, because I don't know. I'm getting like this person is like not, you wouldn't think it, Leo. That's the energy I'm getting. And they're saying like, they be just so mad. They feel very insecure and they're like taking it out on the energy of you. So watch, like if you're, if you got a new job, if you're in a relationship, whatever it is, don't show it online and don't tell people. Be really yeah. elusive is what I'm getting. Yeah. That's crazy. Don't let people in on your inner world. If you got something that's password protected, don't let nobody in on that shit. Like, if it's protected and they got to request it, no matter. Yeah. Man, you don't need to be in here. So, Leo, what's going on with us, Leo? Because like, you see. may find that somebody finds a secret page or something that you have. Yeah. Like, how did you find this and request me? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. leave them in that motherfucking request. And if they ask you if you saw they shit, be like, what? What? Oh, I ain't know that no more. Like, right. they need to know what the fuck you got going on. Right. They got some spies. We got a lot of stalker vibes this week. Why? What's going on? Girl. Maybe we need to stick to going from the beginning to the end. Right. <laughs> we thought the energy was going to be like, oh. <laughs> What's going on? So, we picking okay. up on the stalk. We picking up on the people who lose themselves. Yeah. And, and I feel like also... This crowd that we're that's watching this, you might be also someone who's starting to begin to know your power and the person that you're like, OK, I'm not being wrapped up in them anymore. They're like feeling it and they're going crazy. I don't know why I'm getting energy for a lot of. Yes. Uh, girl. Yes, girl. Yes. Let's get girl. into cancer. Let's get into cancer. Let's see. All right. Cancer. What is going on with cancer? Involves, um, oh, some of you are dating someone who's either married or you're dating a married person or. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry for interrupting you. I'm sorry. No, <laughs> I love it. Because look, we pick it up on the same shit. I'm getting, and you're really drunk in love over this person. I feel like, but you're not seeing the signs. I'm getting like, they may be the type of person that like only hits you up at a certain time, or it's always, they have to do some business work or something's coming up. Um, there's someone in the picture and I definitely feel like, um, or maybe you're married and you are with someone because I got shady bitches, right? So you might be noticing people been giving you the side eye or this, this, and that, and you're thinking like it's something else, like what's going on with them? I feel like it's the person you're involved with, secrets. We got secrets. Um, things are going to come out, come to light. I have say what you feel. The reason why I got say what you feel, because I feel like if you really call their bluff, you would find out a lot of information. Spirit is telling you to open up your eyes. I don't know why I'm getting, wake up, wake up, hoes. I keep hearing Nikki Minaj saying, wake up, hoes, in my head, because I feel like you guys need to wake up. You're not paying attention. 
And this person is really just a sleaze bag. Like they're mm-hmm. not being honest. And you're just in your head. Like I get like, you're just like, oh my gosh, I'm seeing that this is beautiful and it's not. Trust. You really have to like, stop ignoring those signs. Like, I don't know, Cancer, why I'm getting like, you're someone who you see the signs, but you're just like in la la land. And it's like, even your homegirls see it. They like, girl, how, like, come on. This is what it is. But I feel like it's going to be something that's in front of your face. I don't know if we got, um, because we're talking about being caught up in someone, I got the codependency card. So I don't know if you, feel like you need this person but spirit is saying i'm going to separate you from this person because you really need to this person is not for you but you really need to work on i don't want to say y'all don't value yourself i'm not trying to say it but i feel like there's some self-worth work that has to be done there if that makes sense what you got girl somebody cheating So that was the first thing that came out, like with the moon card. Like the first thing I was just feeling like somebody cheating and hiding some feelings. Someone is stubborn as fuck. They don't want to see something another person's way. I got the scribe of skeptics in reverse, which is a very unloyal person. Someone is not really trustworthy. Someone who does not keep their word. We then have the queen of fucking swords in the reverse. So someone is doing some shit that's not motherfucking wise right now because something is about to come out this week because we got communication with Mercury coming up in the reverse and passion coming up in reverse. So either somebody's going to get walked in on this week and caught doing something that they shouldn't do, watching something that they shouldn't be watching or something, somebody's going to get caught up and you're going to find just how sleazy they were and it's going to make you lose your fucking respect for them in some Mm -hmm. kind of way. So whoever this is for, I'm definitely just getting a sense of like, I've lost all fucking respect for you and like, get the fuck out my house vibes. Mm. I'm gonna pull some. I'm gonna roll some die. Yes, so that's that roll. Can, look, please roll some die for my Gemini. I mean, that is not just. Oh shit, Gemini it's might cancer. be some shit. It's a Gemini. Whoever, if if you dated a Gemini, that's a sign. They cheating that on just you. Came they out like. Right. So we got Venus that's coming out. So that's Libra, um, Taurus. Then we got Aries. Then we got Aries again. Then we have Sagittarius, Taurus, Leo. I'm going to do it one more time. Gemini. (laughs) We just going to leave it at that. Like, look. Let's go ahead and move on to Gemini. (laughs) Girl, let me get the deck that I'm going to use for my Gemini. I don't know why I got butterflies in my stomach as soon as we got the Gemini. Girl, but these butterflies, Gemini is in love again. Like so, Gemini's. I feel like it's it's giving infatuation though. I ain't gonna lie, um, because we got the yep, yeah, yeah. The high priest is in reverse, and then the nine of pentacles in reverse. Shit, let me pull some other cards. See, I may need you to help me with pulling this one out. Hold on. Let me, let me. Girl. Uh, we got trying flow empowerment coming up in the reverse. This is a confidence issue. Mm-hmm. Yeah, financial discipline is coming up. And then karmic, karmic completion. So Gemini, Girl. <laughs> your spending is fucking with your life and like your love life in some kind of way. Yes. Like y'all are a little reckless or you don't know how to handle certain things or like you not really on no boss shit and you being judged by that from somebody. OK, um, somebody sees through your bullshit. So we have the high priestess energy that's coming up in reverse. So it's like it's giving me the sense of high priestess in reverse. It's like you're living in la la land to me, like you're not seeing the truth of things. You're not seeing both sides to a situation because the nine of pentacles in reverse is just like, you're, you're going nowhere fast. You're not doing shit. Like you're not even going fast, honestly. And it's just like, you're spinning your cycles, your cycle in this karmic completion, like what's fucking you up with this financial stuff. 
you're spinning your cycle, like mm-hmm. your wheels right now in a situation. And it's like, you're in this rent, like your float, like something that you have going on with your routine, Gemini is fucked up. Mm-hmm. Your routine of what you do, whether if it's how you approach love, how you approach relationships, connections with people, whatever it is, it's fucked up. Like, and it's mm-hmm. not empowering. And like, cause I don't like this. It's all in reverse energy, Gemini. Let me, and it may not be you. It may be the person that you're dealing with. Okay. Like mm-hmm. it, it may be the person that you're dealing with, but someone isn't seeing the truth of something. Yes. The emperor coming in the reverse. Then I just say, you're not acting like a big boss. And yes. then the fact that Emperor is coming out in reverse, that's Aries energy shit. You may be dealing with an Aries. Somebody may be calling you out on some Aries shit. You may be getting called out on like not handling your business the way you're supposed to handle your business. They're not. Like you're it's some you're it's lazy energy to me. It's like, oh, I'm gonna roll some dice. Where are my dice? Let me girl. All right, we get in Aries. <laughs> Aries, Libra. Then we have Mars, which is Aries and a Scorpio. Then we have Scorpio again, Taurus and Scorpio again. So uh, I'm going to roll this one more time for good time's sakes for y'all, okay? But we got Aries again, Scorpio again, <laughs> and Leo again. So it's the same shit. It's the, it's the same shit. And it's really a shame because I'm getting like, when you said financial, they think they could overcompensate or make this person want them by spending money. I'm getting, but you don't have it like that is what spirit is saying. Or you're dating someone who's trying to overcompensate with money and they don't have it like that. And the thing is, what spirit is saying, by you doing this, you keep like trying to fill those spaces with people when in reality, It's because you need to deal with whatever it was from your past. When we talked about like feeling, feeling like wanting someone to fill those spaces, I'm getting that Gemini, you, you're definitely like just jumping into relationships and spending like, I don't know. I see this person like spending buku money, like just like, and not paying a rent or, um, trying to buy their mate like a whole bunch of shoes and purses but you don't even have a car yourself i'm seeing like one of those or maybe you're dating someone that's like that but spirit is saying like you have to fill those spaces yourself and spending money is not going to um help you have genuine connections only thing it's doing is it's just avoiding the inevitable and I feel like there's going to be a breakdown that has to happen for you to realize that you can't consume yourself with a person so much. Mm. If that makes sense. That's real. That's that's real. Some of y'all, someone may be using sex magic too to get what they want. Mm. That's some lower vibrational type energy though. Like yeah. making an investment. So you think you're making an investment by spending your money then using sex magic. And you think that that's going to tie someone in and hook them in. It's not, Maybe. it's not. And I feel like only thing you're doing is this person doesn't want to be bound because I got whole cards. So they want to be out and they want to be free. They don't want to be bound. So, okay. If you think you're going to bind them to, to you, Okay, it's not going to change the fact that they still going to have options. So, I mean, whoo, all right, <laughs> let's move to Taurus. Let's go. We just don't get off of Jim. Listen, Linda, last week, Jim and I had a real good one, you know. Yeah, can't win them all, you know. Let's see, Taurus. So, um, the first card I got is healing family issues. Um, then I got calling in your soulmate. So a lot of you, um, re- oh, we got retreat, which that gives me hermit vibes and religious factors. Okay. Oh, okay. Some of you, um, are working on yourself. You're working on healing yourself. I feel like you're really into your spirituality. Um, I'm getting a lot of like shadow aspects, healing childhood, 
um, trauma. And by you doing that, by you healing that shadow part of yourself, I feel like you're getting closer to attracting your soulmate. That might not even be your intention because I'm getting like very much my Taurus. You're on some hermit vibes. Like I just really want to be about myself. I just really want to be about my work. I just really want to be about, um, I'm not getting like taking trips. I want to be about me. And this is a healing experience for you. But spirit is telling you not to be so close off to love because I feel like by you working on healing yourself, it feels like the universe wants to reward you with um, this karmic love. Um, look, we got finances and career. You're still, though, focusing on your money. You like, I just want to do this. I just want to get this work done. I just want to focus on getting in this race, focus on starting my business. But spirit is saying, though, uh, I got to get to know each other. So it's one of those things where you might have someone that wants to really get to know you, someone who's watching you, someone who's liking seeing you on the, gr um, on the grind. Um, but spirit is telling you, don't be so closed off because you are doing the work and you do deserve this, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, let me get one more card for you. We got to make the effort. So make the effort with your love life. You know, don't be so caught up into yourself that you don't also enjoy the rewards of the universe, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, Spirit is saying it's safe for you to love. So if you if, if for those of you who I feel like you're scared or you have some reservations, Spirit is saying it's OK for you to put some time in your love life, if that makes sense. What you got for Taurus, girl? That. I definitely get that. I just keep hearing the aspect of Taurus being in the energy of wanting to turn water into wine. Like you got Virgo, the alchemist that came out, and then the square of the challenge. So it's giving me the sense of you turning the things that you feel was once dull to you that didn't really like have meaning or like make sense. You want to turn into something that means something. Like just definitely something that's meaningful, you know. Mm -hmm. Um I feel like Taurus are in the energy of trying to purify their energy. Like mm. I'm getting a sense of going through the fire, like the alchemist, you know, with this Virgo energy and like, you just want to purify your personal energy, the energies of what you may have around you. Like, because when I see this, just like the first time, it makes me think of like, let me just get back to a time when I was innocent again, you mm. know? And like, going back to that space before you became cynical on love or cynical about relationships and cynical on your job and your work life. You know what I'm saying? Going back to a time before all that. And we have time moves slowly, but passes quickly by Alice Walker. And so towards you're just realizing that I feel like a lot of you all are in the energy of looking back over your life. Like, um, who is that song by holding back the years? Hey, I know that <laughs> from Love and Basketball. Ain't that yeah, don't so so listen to that song. I'll be holding on. Mm -hmm. They holding on. I'll be holding on. Hey. I feel like towards a lot of you all are measuring your love life or the love of your life based off of that first real love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know it's kind of love story-ish even if you don't end up with that person again that's the measurement of love that you have mm -hmm. and I feel like you hold people to this standard of this person who once marked the boxes but y'all just weren't right for each other at that time you know what I'm saying and so I just I, I get a real sen a sensitive energy from you all with this reading mm. like and that's not a tourists really don't show their sensitive side. Um, they try to hold it in like this bull, you know what I'm saying? Um, but on the inside, they feel shit, you know. Yeah. Shit. Um, the signs that we have coming out for you is Venus. So Taurus, Libra, Libra again, you got Aquarius, Gemini, the moon, Capricorn, and Sagittarius. Ooh. So your feelings, you've been in your feelings, okay, Taurus. It's okay to be in your feelings. Please. It's okay. It's okay, Taurus. You don't have to keep up that strong face, okay? 
you you don't you don't poo don't feel like you gotta you ain't even gotta do all that uh huh and hey, why you gotta do that, that love huh hey, hey. hey like, shit you ain't gotta do that I'm just saying but we are gonna get to Aries okay hey um, come through Aries all right let's get some cards out for our Aries look Aries is last today so we don't know what's popping off Aries we've been in some shit okay oh shit no, I see girl Aries is with the shits. Aries is with the shit this week. Girl. Girl, Aries is on big dick energy. Yes. First off, let's start there. Aries, you're on big dick energy. You have finally leveled the fuck up. And nothing or no one is in your space if they're not there. You know how I know that? Because you got blocked your motherfucking number. So Aries, you block somebody's number or you're planning on blocking somebody's number, this week, Spirit is saying it's time to be in that big dick energy and finally do that shit and move on, okay? We got to watch our videos that's coming up. So, Aries, some of y'all may be going back to your old videos and watching some shit with some old flings to mm -hmm. get off because you ain't getting no dick, okay? And that's fine. Or no coochie. Like, whatever it is, go back and watch our old homemade videos. If you got some homemade videos, you know what I'm saying, Aries? But some of you all may be offered to go on a date, too, I have right here. But honestly, Aries, I'm not seeing you really like being into some shit. Okay. Yeah. You got, you got to feel your soul through your eyes. Yeah. Aries, all you got to do is see somebody. I feel like in this energy and you can tell just off that initial meeting, like if you want to fuck with them or not, I feel like you're resting in your intuition so much this week that you're in that big dick energy where it's just like, yeah, my spirit guys just told me no on this. So I'm going to just, I'm going to pass. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to yep. pass. I like it. it's giving me the sense of Aries, you passing on shit that in the past you would have took up on. You know what I'm saying? You would have took them up on the offer. The Warrior of Pentacles, you would have took them up on the offer, okay? But you're realizing I, I really ain't got time for this. Like this really ain't benefiting me. You gonna take a while to do what I need you to do anyway. You taking a long time to come in and offer me this motherfucking pinnacle. And by the time somebody come in and offer you this bullshit ass pinnacle, you done already rolled off and created your own shit, Aries. And like that's yes. And I just baby, how the fuck we go from? Then I just say somebody coming in offering you this motherfucking the warrior of pinnacles, which is the night, the night of coins. You know the night of coins is the slowest moving fucking night in the deck. Okay. Mm -hmm. You said, fuck you and your pinnacle, your slow moving, getting your shit together. Oh, I need time. I need time to get this. You said, fuck it. I'm going to build and do myself. So what we got now? The night of a time. That's you, baby. You said, I ain't got time to wait for this. Aries Girl. ain't got time to wait for this. They ain't got time. Aries is over here rushing ahead, doing what the fuck they need to do with this night of a time. Look at them, they running, this other person ain't running. And if y'all not on the same level this week, Aries, that's what I'm getting. You're realizing when things and people are not on the same level as you, you see this person is just sitting here offering, showing what the fuck they can do. This one is charging ahead. Right. Charging ahead. If somebody else ain't working, charging ahead, doing what the fuck, like on the same level, you need to get the fuck up out of there. Cut because it. you've been there, done that. What's that one song? Heard it all before. Hey. hey. Listen, you didn't seen this shit before, Aries. So when this shit look like a repeat offense, I don't care if it's a different person. Same shit, different day. I'm going to roll some die and then see it's on you, okay? Girl, we is on point together. I can. So we got Pluto. That's Scorpio. We got Aries coming out. We got Capricorn coming out. We got Libra coming out. Scorpio again. What's this? Scorpio again. Gemini. Scorpio again. We're going to do one more. One more row. Virgo, Scorpio, and then Aries again. So. <laughs> Let me tell you, it's so funny because I got that Aries is on that hangman energy. Like, I mean, I have, I'm a hermit energy. On that hermit energy of wanting to just really be in a shell. Aries is worried about the bag, okay? Aries is worrying about the bag and they feel like I don't have time for you and your games. I got separation. I got separation because I'm getting that this person, I feel like they're broke. Like you're dealing with someone who 
they don't have it like that. When I say broke, I mean, not just money wise, which I do feel, but I also feel like broke in the sense of they have brokenness within themselves. And I feel like you like, look, I don't have time to be babysitting anyone. I don't have time to be your, your teacher. I don't have time. I'm trying to get to where I'm trying to get to. And I feel like it's going to cause some separation. With that being said, this person, the other person, they're not going to take it easy. They're not going to take it standing down. I got stalker card. Girl, the motherfucking stalkers, they, they're back again. I got stalker card. I got a stalker. They're not going to take it lying down. Guess who's um, that? <laughs> Spirit is saying, though, if they know your family members, I wouldn't be surprised if they try to hit you up through family or friends. Um, I wouldn't be surprised. I feel like this might cause some disputes, though, because I feel like Aries, you like, I'm not having it. I don't know. I get, I get like, um, either they may come up to your job. They may be like another offset. Cardi B moment. Girl. And I feel like you like, look. Wasn't that Virgo like, that look. had that? It was Virgo that had that, right? I feel like you might be like, look, I'm not with it. And Spirit is saying, um, you need to make your intentions clear. You need to let them know. Um, this person is going to, they think you're the one though. It's like one of those things where... Um, you're going to have to let them know what it is, is what spirit is saying. I also feel like this person is hiding something from you. So once again, it gives me back to, um, yeah, broke vibes. Mm. They, they, I'm, I'm seeing they don't have it like that. So yeah, that's crazy for, uh, Aries. This is another come up vibe. <laughs> I feel like you, Aries, is like, I'm on my, my money shit. I don't have time. I'm on my, I, I got places to be. I don't have time to be playing no games. That's what I'm getting. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that, look, that's it, that's all. Like, let's get into this collective reading. Let's get into this collective. Let's see what is the messages we have for the collective, and then we're going to... Go ahead and close this off, okay? Let's see. Here he this been some this been some good shit. I'm up here looking up another camera from my house. I already got one, but I'm like, let me look up another girl. Camera. Girl. Girl, listen, Linda. This should have be here in a day. Listen, Linda. Girl. Don't play with me. Okay. I got slow down for the collective message. Like attracts like. Spirit wants you guys who's dating. If you're dating, spirit wants you. Because I got candles, right? I got candles and I have someone dreaming and sleeping when I'm looking at this card. Uh, spirit wants you all to, one, make sure you're getting rest. I don't know why that's the message for the collective. The second thing is they want you to take your time with, when dating if you're single. Take your time with da when dating. Um, I feel like you're very much for a, the group of you. Um, Spirit is saying you, ha you have to be the vibe that you want to attract. You mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? So I'm getting that a lot of you, you may want to work on raising your vibrations. I don't know why I'm getting like some of my babies watching this. You may have been feeling off with all the energies. Um, you know about the astrology more than me. So I don't know if it's coming off of the um, the energy or what it is. But I feel like some of my babies have been feeling off. And spirit is saying that um, you really want to work on not only getting grounded and getting centered, but really getting clear on who you are. That goes back into what we were talking about. Um, I keep getting come come to the ground. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm getting that. Mm -hmm. um, um, Spirit is telling you to look to your inner strength because you are stronger than what you realize. You don't need this other person to give you something that you already have. Um, and then the final message that I have on my end is love who you are. 
It's simple. Love who you are. Everything that you love about this person is really what you love about yourself. You're mirroring what you really see about yourself is what spirit is saying. So, you know, instead of giving all of this to this person, if you gave half of that to yourself, do you know how like much further you would be like, you need to give that to yourself is what spirit is saying. Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> I could definitely see that. And like, definitely when you have said, come back down to the ground. Cause the first thing that I started thinking about, like you were definitely on the money with like where the energies and stuff are at. And so with us having that full moon and um, inside of the Virgo energy, like just think about what's going on in the opposite sign of Virgo right now on that Pisces energy and that's opposition. You got Neptune, the aspect of dreams and illusions, you know, mm -hmm. um, then you got Jupiter that's over there chilling and with Jupiter over there chilling, then you got Mercury. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. and coming from a Pisces North node and a Pisces Mercury, it could be a lot of jibble jumble, jibble jabble, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And you get in your head about X, Y, and Z to the point where like you're in La La Land now on some shit that you were supposed to have made your mind up on. And so the cards that came out, I have do not fear the inevitable. Mm. Why hold on to what you need to let go of? Mm. And then change is inevitable. So what I'm getting for the collective is that you might as well do that shit as least painful as possible. We got the eight of coins that's coming out in the reverse. Something is not being beneficial. And you got the three of cups energy that's coming out. But it's just like you still partying and enjoying yourself. But you're not really happy with something that's not working for you. So it's like, yeah, the sex may be good. This may be good. But like, the fuck? Right. <laughs> I'm done. Mic drop. The fuck? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> So there you have it, guys. Y'all got to let us know what y'all think because these readers was crazy this week. Let Baby. us know. Girl, you I see? got my, my camera will be here, okay, Tuesday. Like, what's up with the stalkers? Do y'all need to, look, we need a sage. We need to talk. Do we need, do we need to do our return to sender? <laughs> what do we need to do? Look, look, we might have to talk about it here on my channel. Look, guys. Let us know when we there, honey. Look, but let us know, guys, what you think about this. Make sure you guys check out our playlist. Make sure you guys also uh, follow us on Instagram. Follow us on the P Fairy Podcast. You got yes. a freebie this week. So show us some love, but next week we're going to be in the Patreon for the spicy conversations. So you want to make sure you go there and join the party, okay? Because we definitely want to include you all. Um, also, guys, make sure you share this and thumbs up this video. That really does, you know, let people know about us because, yeah. you know, we want, we want more fairies, okay? <laughs> Yes, because these conversations are needed. Like, yes, they're needed. Yes. And give us suggested topics that y'all want us to talk right. about. Right. What do y'all want to talk about? Nothing's off limits. Okay. Listen, nothing is off limits. Okay. <laughs> it just may go on the, the, the Patreon. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's you can the listen to it, don't forget, y'all. The Patreon is if you like to see the video and all of that. But like, yeah. You can listen to the audio off of Anchor.fm and Spotify, and it's it's on Apple Music now too. So like when you're listening, to this, I was like, by the time y'all listen to this, it's on Apple Music. So Yay. it's like just you got different options. So let us know your thoughts and stuff on like what. Listen, Linda, that's why we started this in the first place. Yes, you know, about the things that we don't see really talked about oftentimes, like because we ain't scared to have them conversations, and that's just no. all good, period. <laughs> so fairies until then make sure you check out monaco's channel make sure you check out check my out. channel until then keep, keep shimmering. on sprinkling shimmering our fairies <laughs> bye